Juve versus Torino. I'm going to come straight to you, uh, Mina. Juve, 1-1 on the road midweek in France. Uh, draw is at plus 295. The under over set at 2.5 with the under been at minus 145. Torino uh, absolutely shot to pieces in the last five games. Zapata goes away. The formation changes. They look good early on. Now everyone's questioning. They can't score goals and they certainly can't keep them out. You say that, but they've actually been a little bit better defensively. I mean, not not hugely. Better. They've lost five in a row, haven't they? <laughs> yeah, they did. They did. And they did concede to Roma, right? I mean, this is the terrible mm. Roma side. The problem is, is that they're focusing too much on sort of the balance, right? And now they've lost something. They've lost something huge with Duvan mm. Zapata because I think the, the physicality that he can bring in, which allows the incursions from midfield, which allows Che Adams to make the difference as well. He used to come in either the second half or not. Now you've got so much pressure on creating and, and against tight defences, they're not being able to do very much. They need a very open game. And I think the back, they have solidified. I don't see Torino now being capable of conceding three or four goals like I thought that they were capable. Like Torino, for me, were hands down, both teams score an over two and a half for me whenever I was looking at them in the beginning. Now I'm less inclined to do that. The thing with Juve, though, is they've also slowed down. I mean, I looked at their match against Lille and everyone was like, well, they probably could have won it in the end. And yes, maybe I agree with you. But I, I don't think they're very clever in their movements. I, I look at that and I think sometimes that they, they struggle to really have players between the lines who know how to run into space. And that's my view of it. It's right now, Thiago Monte is trying to teach them um, the mechanisms of, of like how to move, you know, the, the geometries, like how you're supposed to move on move in the field and create those passages of play but right now you'll get Conte Sao for example out wide and and then you'll get someone who's Vlaovic who's in the middle and someone behind him and no one there in the middle to offer him a triangle and that's the issue that I've got right now because I don't think the midfield is like Kefren Turam is not great at doing that and then who else have you got because you've got Coop Miners who needs to come in that Yildiz has not yet found the connection with everyone else so sometimes he makes run that goes into the center when you need him to stay a little bit out wide for that cross to come in it's, it's complicated because I don't think they've yet learned exactly the patterns of play that Thiago Monte is after. And there's just been too many changes within that side. Sometimes it's Coop Miners, right? Sometimes you've got Kessier next to Vlaovic. Sometimes you've got Wielders out wide. Or sometimes you're going with Timothy Weir. So they haven't yet found themselves. And I find that this is a team that I don't know how to secure. I think in this particular match, though, they have the quality over Torino, to be honest with you. And I do think that Vononi will have to take some risks to play his game. Um, and he is somebody that was very irritated in their last match. He's very irritated in these five losses in a row. So he's looking to change things up. And he needs to make it count because this is the derby, right? This is a huge derby um, for, for Turin. So... I think that they will come out. And maybe if they do come out, then this is the time for Juve to pounce on it. Coop Miners was perhaps unlucky not to get that goal um, against Lille, right? Twice his teammates were offside. So potentially, maybe this is a chance for him to, to break his duck. But really, honestly, if they don't have Vlaovic to do something, then they're bust. So for me, this is another Juve win. But I think it's under three and a half because I just don't think Torino has enough. I don't think Torino score. I think minus one one two still brings in the nil nil because I can't trust Juve. Although when Juve's you're really not pretty crap. Yeah. Well, I, I know, but Torino haven't got an attack, so that's uh, that's an that's absolute. True. Plus, and also with the way Juve are in transition at the moment, as in transition of players not available, transition of getting the right ideas from Motta. They would choose Torino to come to town because they have to get up for it because it's such a derby, and Torino have not. They're not firing a loaded gun. Uh, Tan? Also, Che Adams might not be available. So. Yeah. Minus mm. 112, not, Torino not to score. Um, they just don't click. They just don't click. They can find uh, Zapata was important with, uh, on all those levels and still things aren't working. On the other side, Juventus against Lille were uh, quite psychotic because they started very badly. They finish very well. They finish very well offensively. But the thing is that although they scored only because the referee gifted one penalty to Concesao, who once again dived, but at the same time, they are always dreadful in the back. And uh, it when you are so many times, it happens that once you are punished. But, you know, aren't able, uh, if you 
check the, the results, the last games, and check until Zapata was on, aren't able in this moment to get next to the goal. Uh, Tiago Motta um, knows that he needs to protect the defense and that anyway, Torino are not irreprehensible in the back. So it's not part of my picks because the odds were too low, but I read someone that was writing uh, Juventus money line don't complicate it. Absolutely. I don't pick it because it's minus 175, so too little. But yeah, I don't see honestly. And if you want to go for something, probably I'd say one nil. One nil, yeah. another one nil of Thiago Motta, and it goes moving that way. Yeah, just keep Torino not to score uh, minus one one two because it does give you that we that game of Juve firing blanks and it ends nil nil. The chances are it's one nil two nil and it's comfortable for the home side. But if you trust Juve, whew, I'll be more That's I'll be more to trust Torino not to score. Um, let's have a little look mm. at the official picks, please. Uh, Juve and under three and a half at minus one oh four does bring in that one nil, two nil, a three nil and the two one as well. 